So one of the consequences to low nutrients in home winemaking or any commercial winemaking is um, that hydrogen sulfide can be formed, a rotten eggy kind of thing that, that uh, yeast will do. And without getting too deeply into why it happens, it's essentially uh, certain amino acids that contain sulfur in them get used to make other kinds of amino acids and the, the yeast says, well, I've got all the sulfur here, let's get rid of it. And they'll get rid of it in a couple ways and one of them is to get rid of it in the form of uh, reduced sulfur or hydrogen sulfide. If that happens near the end of a fermentation, um, it ends up kind of staying in the wine. And uh, it's pretty strong stuff, and it competes with all the other uh, things that we've worked so hard to get as home winemakers. So um, you end up with uh, you know, a wine that has a kind of a stinky side to it. There is uh, essentially a, two ways to get rid of it, and it's two different sides of uh, one way. Uh, copper tends to react with the sulfide. So an old traditional way of uh, fixing this would be to expose that wine to some sort of a copper uh, vessel, like a bowl, uh, a tube. Um, some people talk about throwing pennies in. Well, pennies, modern American pennies have so little copper that it wouldn't be effective, but maybe a, a, the old French centime, you know, or, or uh, just some what would be called red copper fairly pure copper, you could expose the wine to that for some period of time to where this, the sulfide will um, bond onto that copper and it takes it out of the solution. An alternative way to do that is to actually take a solution of copper sulfate, as an example, and make very tiny, very accurately measured additions to the wine to find out what tiny level of copper in that solution is going to react with the sulfide to clean it out of the wine, to precipitate it out in this little black little dot droplets that, uh, that fall out of the wine and expose or reveal the, the wine's real characteristics. So that is a, um, it's a way to remediate the wines. It's, a, it's very effective, but nothing's without a price. There's other things that look or that react like that hydrogen sulfide. There's these volatile thiols in the wines that are actually a lot of the good things that we want, and that also reacts with copper. So it's not like, well, don't worry about Make getting a wine with a bunch of stinky hydrogen sulfide because I'll just add copper. Well, you'll add copper, but you throw out your babies or some of the babies with some of your bath water as well. So that brings us back to prevention actually being better than remediation. But you know, if, if prevention fails, then remediation is, is left. And uh, the, the outcome may be a small failure, failure in some ways, but it's better than doing nothing and having a natural, naturally occurring wine that is spoiled in some way or at least not achieving its goal.